two up. New Zealand series number three. Good morning. Day two, packed up camp from Amarama and uh, heading north towards Twizel. Um, and we're going to call in have the clay, at the clay cliffs and um, see what they're all about before we uh, head to Twizel. And I think we're going to head up to Mount Cook Village today, somewhere neither of us have been before. Not quite so windy yet. No, that's that's a, a plus. Coming through here yesterday was super windy. Uh, it dropped off while we were having dinner, and was not too bad at all overnight. Yeah. Here we go, Clay Cliffs scenic area. Take two. <laughs> Here we are, the clay cliffs. <laughs> well, they interest, five bucks for a vehicle, 20 bucks for a bus. So, hence why we didn't come in here yesterday because we didn't have our five bucks on us. No. Oh, they do have a bank account details. Oh, do they? It would have cost me more to transfer it. <laughs> you want to ask? Oh, so this lady's going to get the gate, is she? Mm-hmm. Can you reach it? Four. Oh. <laughs> Got us. Yep. Oh, done. Oh, that was good timing. <laughs> You want to close it for her? How many others are coming? Well, oh, there's a heap. Heap. So we'll just park them. Roll on. Well, they say about four k's down here. Yep, four k's, and then it's about a hundred meter walk. Oh yeah. Yeah. Wow. Pretty cool, eh? Yeah. How's that? Park right at the gate, eh? Sure. Badlands terrain. Wall box, cannons, canyons, and numerous towers of pinnacles. And you can see, which we'll have a look at, there's layers of conglomerate and they're all tilted the, actually the same way, it's just the landscape. I'm gonna go for a walk and check these out. Up the canyon. I'm kind of in the middle of all these cliffs. Some pretty cool formations. Thankfully, the walk back is pretty much all downhill. Because we're bikers. We don't walk. <laughs> <laughs> This is the entry slash hi exit. Absolutely spectacular, just opens out into the river valley. Lovely breeze. Real little canyon feel. Was not expecting that. Yeah. And the Ahuriri River just down there in front of us. Back out on the main road. 
road from the Clay Cliffs. Worth the stop, eh? Oh yeah, worth the stop, worth the walk. Um, not, I wasn't expecting the canyon that you walk up through, a little gorge type feel. Yeah, yeah, amazing looking when you get yep. inside here and there's a nice breeze blowing straight up inside the canyon was good. Yes, lovely. A short little burst up the road here to Twizel. We'll stop and get a couple of drinks and uh, a few little supplies and then we're going to carry on up the road and head for the Mount Cook village. Uh, I think I said yesterday, somewhere neither of us have ever been before, so we'll go and tick that one off the list. Yep. Um, expecting the road to be relatively busy. It's um, Tomorrow is a public holiday here, so um, there's probably quite a few extra people on the road already. But there, uh, it is what it is. We'll just take your time and mosey on up the road. Beautiful day for it. Yeah, it's one of those days. It doesn't get much better. Mm-hmm. There we go. Just come across the canals. I think you can just probably won't be able to see very well, but you can just see Mount Cook out there in the, in the distance. In the, in the clouds on the tops. Yeah. And we're not far from Quizel. <laughs> oh, skydivers. Straight out in front of us. Oh, yeah. So they call this the Starlight Highway. Uh, and there's lots of stargazing and like, um, all sorts of, yeah, dark sky reserves. Yeah, right. Meant to be the best place in New Zealand for stargazing and things like that. Yep, yep. So hopefully a nice clear night tonight for camping and we yeah. might, if we can stay up long enough, <laughs> <laughs> see some stars. Trick's going to be finding a park. Yeah. I'll let you off. Yep. Actually, um, I might just pull up there. Right where you're standing. <laughs> there we are, looking straight down at Mount Cook there now. And, uh, to come up on some of the canals again, just just north of Twizel. Oh yeah, boys are doing burnouts in the car. Look at that, some good Kiwi rubber. <laughs> what a great road though. Yeah, yeah. How cool is that? Is our first glimpse of Lake Pukaki. Pukaki. <laughs> and our good Australian accent. Yep. <laughs> Apologies now for everything we mispronounce. But wow, it's a stunning day. Yeah. It's uh oh yeah, 25 degrees. Yep. Yeah, you can see the dust coming off the off the river the, mouth. The river
picked a good day to do it. I'm up in the air. Photo opportunities here. Yeah. Wonder if it's an Instagram spot if you stand a certain way. It looks like blah blah. Stand on one foot, touch your nose. <laughs> Post it to Instagram and you'll be famous. I don't know, I just put the camera on, I don't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> crazy that you've just got this river valley and then just kind of goes straight up to the mountain peaks. Yeah, yeah. Anyone that can tell us the names of the cloud formations? Cause... Yeah. Mount Cook National Park. We're here. That is stunning. Hey. Right? That is um, glacial, yeah? I would say so, yeah. Absolutely spectacular. Well, this was worth the ride. Wasn't it? Eh? <laughs> <laughs> that ain't no off-road, but, you know, it's still, uh, still worth coming to have a look pretty, at. Pretty scenic. Yeah. See, you actually can't see Mount Cook from here because it's tucked in behind that one. Yep. Traffic jam. Nobody knows where they're going. I kind of get the feeling they've come the wrong way, but I don't know if there's, there is a, a way. Whoa. Quite stunning. Looking back down there. Yeah. Just see the cloud peeling off the top of Mount Cook there now. Cracking day. Hey? Yeah. Good, Good day. day. Well, we'll make our way back down the down the river and then down the lake and mosey on back down to Twizel. Chased by a tailwind all the way. Yeah, hopefully we'll get pushed down the buddy, which will be nice. Tasman Road looks interesting. Oh yeah? Well look at the oh, bridge the out there. Bridge out there. Do you want to go and have a look? Yes, yes, yes. Let's go and have a look. <laughs> Rut row. Whoa. That now, she's a bit blowy out here. Oh, that's a good look down the lake. That's stunning. Yeah.
Wow. You just got out of your car. You're the driver. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> How cool is that? Oh, that's very, very dirty, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So this is the into the Tasman Valley. Yep. It's, oh, the ta it's the Tasman Glacier. Up there. It's up here. Yeah. Yeah. I reckon you, that's what you can see that we were commenting on. You walk up into it. It's about an hour. Not quite as far as the Hooker Valley track. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, just don't run us off the road <laughs> while you're looking at the waterfall. That'd be great. <laughs> yeah, I, there was a little one to the side and then we come around the corner and you can see such a huge yeah. drop. You can see the wind actually drifting the spray. Well, I don't know, I guess... Oh look, she's at it a, again. She's at it again. <laughs> on, a much, on a much larger, larger scale, yeah. this is what I think India is going to sort of look like, I guess. Uh, yeah, it's just going to be a lot higher. Yeah, much higher. The valleys will be deeper and bigger. And, well, and you'll be at a higher altitude in these valleys. That's right, yeah, yeah. Because I think uh, you start at about 3,000 metres, don't you? Correct, yep. yeah. We're here, we're at 700. Ah, uh, yeah, 700. <laughs> but yes, I do like that no vegetation. No vegetation, sheer, sheer cliffs and rocks and... Yeah. Love this bridge. Oh, what's old mate doing? Going? Somebody stopped at the other end. No, someone tried to come through on him even though we have the right of way. So we stop. How's the um, fall on the gabions there? Yeah. Started to be washed away. Brace yourself. That wind is all yeah, coming wind, down that valley. All the wind's coming down this valley, isn't it? <laughs> So today we left Amarama and it was a pretty straightforward day. We headed through just on the main road all the way through to Twizel, um, stopped for lunch and then we actually carried on through and all the way up the end here to Araki. We did do a little bit of the walk in the Hooker Valley and we also cut across here to the Tasman but we didn't actually do a great deal more and then we backtracked and spent the night here in Twizel.